Hey Paul, what's that plant? Well, this plant, Scott, is Grevillea Scarlet Sprite. It's a little spiky, it's tolerant to 15 degrees, it's a um, kind of a low-lying hedge. It will grow about four to five feet and you could prune it back if you just want it as a ground cover. Um, reminds me a bit more of rosemary, but it's kind of uh, spiky like I said. Uh, what's good about this grevillea, it's easy to grow, tolerates really low temperatures, 15 degrees. Um, it's wind tolerant. This is a really kind of windy spot of our yard and it's doing great here. It's only on one dripper. Uh, it's about four years old. You can see it's getting quite large. It has really beautiful kind of pinkish, creamy pinkish flowers. Let's see, I'll grab this one. And uh, it blooms throughout the year and, and it's about to start blooming in January, February really profusely. You can see it's just starting to really um, grow this. Uh, Grevilleas just love Southern California in December, January time of year, all the way through March. Um, uh, what else? It's from Australia. Uh, it can tolerate, if you live right along the coast, this can tolerate um, wind, um, like I said, and also um, sea spray. So it can t tolerate some salty water spraying on it. it will grow in a container plant. Um, it's not too picky about so uh, the soil type. And it uses a, it likes a bit more of drier soil than other grevilleas. Um, like I said, it's really easy to grow. Um, does really well in our climate. And I think if you kind of put a few, it'd be a great natural wall. Um, and the only drawback is it is kind of spiny. Like I said, it is kind of hurts a bit. It's one of the spikier grevilleas. So if you have it right next to a walkway, might get a little spike. Nothing dangerous. It's just you can feel it. Um, so we have some more grevilleas coming your way soon. So give us a subscribe or a like or both. Bam. Grevillea. It's a little spiky, 